Well, developing on a project, if I stumble upon some code that's generic enough, I like to make it open source as a library. And this video is about uh, recording my process of creating an SJS Mongoose decorator. Uh, what the decorator is, it's just a design pattern that extends the functionality without modifying it. And in this video, uh, the decorator will just connect to the Mongo database and call the regular NHJS API handler or static or server-side props. And we'll start from this landing page. Uh, this is a TypeScript template repository. If you don't uh, know about this feature of GitHub, you can turn your repository into a template repository, which uh, means that uh, handling your boilerplate code is a little bit easier. Let's use this template, create a new repository. It will be under my organization. Uh, let's make it private for now and I'll make it public later when I'm done. I'll call it next Mongoose session. And now I can just clone that repository and start working on the actual code. Okay, let's install. And I'll start my IntelliJ. Here it is. Okay. First off, I'll rename this TypeScript template into uh, next mongoose session. I'll replace this dummy function with mongoose connection. So let's import goose. And I'll declare a cached type and cached type will contain two properties. One is mongoose and the other one is promise of mongoose. You'll see in a minute why that is. And since uh, cache connection will be in the global scope, I'll need to declare extension of the global scope because uh, TypeScript will report errors. It will contain a cached property which is of cached type. And I need to initialize the cached type. Which means it's if the cached is property is defined in the global scope, call from the global, or else initialize it with some default properties of null. And now on to defining a connection. It's an async function, it takes URI and connect options.
and it means if if cached is already there, return cached connection. If cache promise is not there, then cache promise is just mongoose connection. And finally, cached connection awaits on cached promise and return cached connection. Now on to defining our uh, decorators. There will be two types of decorators. One will be for API routes and one will be for pages. It's a different typing, so I need to define two kinds of functions. First is for pages. I'll call it with Mongoose SSR. With Mongoose session SSR. I'll call it with Mongoose session SSR, as in server side rendered. And I'll just uh, copy the typing for uh, Next.js handlers. So it will be, it will take a property of type map and it takes a handler, Next.js handler, Next.js handler has a context and context can be get server side props context or get static props context. And other options are connection options. And it returns another function. Okay, so this is now a repetition. I'll define the type SSR context. And type uh, handler returns uh, get static props result or a promise or or uh, search side props result. Let's make it another type. So it can be any of the four types. Static props result or get server side props result. Or get static props result. Uh -huh. It doesn't need to be a promise. Okay, and handler returns as a result of P. And what this function does, it returns that handler. And in this function, I'll just return the handler. And previously, I'll do a connect. This defines function decorator for pages. 
An Arafan should be very similar one. I'll call it with Mongoose Session API route. And it takes a handler. And repetition. Okay. And it returns, this decorator will return the handler. And it takes two kinds of arguments. Next API request and response next API response. Again, connect and again return handler. We're not done. I need to test this. I'll replace this dummy test with the test for with the test for Mongoose decorator. Okay. And test these two functions. I wanted to test if the connect is called when that kind of function is called. I'll call another uh, call entire module as an API. It will be a dummy handler. Returns just props. Okay. It doesn't matter what the options are. Okay. And I'll wait it. Since this session SSR decorator returns another function, I need to call this. Okay. And I want the connect to be called exactly one time. Let's see what this means. Context was not provided. Okay. I just change this typing. And let's see if the test passes. It will not pass because I'll need to uh, either call the exact uh, connect or just use just a uh, mock function. I'll rather call a mock function. So before all, well, before each. And it will be a spy on API module that modifies the connect function. See now. Okay, this passes. In similar fashion, I'll create a test case for connecting to the API route. Uh, 
and I don't care about URI and options. And I don't care about the handler. And I expect it to be called exactly one time. Got this one. I want to turn off this Bentius ignore comment. And let's see now if it works. It works. Okay, all the test pass. Uh, let me show you how you can use this decorator. So in the pages, it will be used just like, it doesn't matter if it is uh, get static props or get server side props. You would use Mogus session SSR and define your regular handler. With URI and options. Uh, similar, uh, similar is uh, for guest server side props and as for uh, and as for uh, API route, in the route you would call mongoose session API route and inside it define your handler. And that's it.